Hi there, and thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be looking at lesson 4.2, which is solving inequalities using addition and subtraction. Today you're going to be looking for six things total to write down in your notes, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I want you to remember are those addition properties of inequality and the subtraction property of inequality. We learned this in chapter 3, um, whenever we learn how to solve equations. Um, so today we're just going to be looking at inequalities, which means less than, greater than, that sort of thing. Basically, whenever you see addition, you're going to use subtraction to solve. And whenever you see subtraction, you use addition to solve, or positives and negatives. Okay? So this first one you're just going to watch me do. It says x minus 5 is less than negative 3 and then graph the solution. As I'm, I'm seeing that x is still on the same side as negative 5, so what I'm going to do to get those away from one another is add 5 to both sides. These two 5's will cancel out, so all I'm left with is x. I bring down my less than symbol, and negative 3 and a positive 5 make a positive 2, so my solution will be x is less than 2. Remember how to graph these? You could just put three numbers on the number line, two, and then the number to the left of it, which is one, a number to the right of it, which is three. It's going to be an open circle because two is not a part of the solution, and I'm going to point to one because one is less than two. The reason why I'm not pointing to three is if I put three where x is, three is not less than two, so I would not point there. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually write this question down. Um, the first step you do over here is you're just going to show opposite operation. And you're going to be writing this page down, so if you want to, you can copy as I go. So let's show the opposite operation. We see a positive 4 on this same side as y, so to get y by itself, I'm going to subtract 4. So that y is greater than y y is greater than be probably 5 because we got 9 and negative 4, so that makes 5. And then step 2 will be to graph. Okay. Um, as you're graphing, you're focusing on this number that's given to you. So the number that's given to me is 5. You're putting one number to the left of 5 and one number to the right of 5. We will have an open circle because 5 is not a part of the solution. And a little reminder that you can write in your notes, you always want to point to the truth. So that just means if you plug in 4 for y, and if you plug in 6 for y, which one is true? 4 is not greater than 5, so we can't point to the 4. But 6 is greater than 5, so that means all of my solutions are going to be this way on the graph. Okay? Go ahead and take time now, if you haven't already, to pause the video and copy everything you see on this page. Once you're done, click play to try a few more. So these are you're going to try by yourself. Um, these are going to be examples, excuse me, two through four. So go ahead and take time now to pause the video, try it, and then click play to check your work. Notice you're solving and graphing. Go ahead. All right, so for number two, we're going to add six to both sides. These sixes will cancel out, so we'll get y is greater than negative one, because we have negative seven plus six to graph it. Negative 1 is here, negative 2, and 0. I have an open circle, and I should be pointing to 0 because 0 is greater than negative 1. Okay? For number 3, I have b minus 3.8 is less than or equal to 1.7. To solve it, I'm going to add 3.8 to both sides. Since I have two positive numbers, I can add those together. 7 and 8 is 15. 3 and 1 and 1 is 5. So b is less than or equal to 5.5. On the number line, I've got 5.5 here. Maybe I have 5 here and then 6 there. This one's going to be a closed circle because 5.5 can be equal to this solution. And what would make it true is if I would point to the 5 down here. 5 is less than or equal to 5.5. And the last one for number 4, I'm going to be getting the minus 1 fourth away from the z. So I'm going to be adding 1 fourth. I do need to make sure that I have common denominators, so what I'd probably change it to is negative 2 fourths and a positive 1 fourth. Okay, so just keeping that in mind up there. Z is going to be all that's left here on the right side. Got this greater than sign. 
negative 2 fourths plus positive 1 fourth would be negative 1 fourth. And then as I'm graphing it, I've got negative 1 fourth. Maybe you put negative 1 and 0. Okay, this one's tricky because notice it's flipped around. You've got to make sure that you always point to the truth. Negative 1 fourth has to be bigger than whatever z is. Okay, so if I put negative 1 there, that is true. So I would be pointing to the negative 1. If I put, on the flip side of that, if I put negative 1 fourth is greater than 0, that's not true. So I would not be pointing to the 0. Okay, just make sure you're super careful with number 4 because that one was flipped around. Um, and always point to the truth, plug in numbers if you ever want to double check. All right? Here's another one. Again, this one's flipped around, so I gave you another one to try. Go ahead and take time now to pause the video to solve it. And once you're done, graph, then click play so you can check your work. All right, so to solve it, we're going to get 14 away from the x. So we're going to subtract 14 from both sides. These 14s cancel out. I'm left with x is less than, that's a less than or equal to sign. And then 13 minus 14, or 13 and negative 14 is negative 1. I can put negative 1 on the number line, 0, and negative 2. This one will be a closed circle. Okay, and then what would make this sentence true? Is negative 1 less than or equal to negative 2? Or is negative 1 less than or equal to 0? The answer is going to be negative 1 is less than or equal to 0. So maybe pointing to that 0, okay? Here's what you could do, could do, is if this confuses you, then you could switch it around. Okay, which basically means x is greater than or equal to negative 1. Notice the inequality symbol is still opening up to the x. Okay, so if you want to, you can switch it around. Negative 1 less than or equal to x is the same thing as x is being greater than or equal to negative 1. So note that you can also have that option there. Okay, so here are your answers if you wanted to rewrite them. The last one is writing a word problem. I just wanted you to make sure that you pay close attention here. If you want to pause the video and try it by yourself, you can. Otherwise, you can just watch with me and then, and then type. It says a person can be no taller than 6.25 feet to become an astronaut pilot for NASA. Your friend is 5 feet 9 inches tall. Write and solve an inequality that represents how much your friend can grow and still meet the requirements. Okay, so what this means is whenever you can be 6.25 feet, no more than that, you could be equal to it, but you have to also be less than it. Your friend right now is 5 foot 9, so that's 5 and 9 twelfths. Maybe I should have gone ahead and made this into a fraction, 6 and 1 fourth. Um, and you're, it's asking how much your friend can grow. So your friend can still grow some more, so that's where I'm going to write x plus 5 and 9 twelfths. In order to solve this, we do have to um, subtract here. But actually, I'm now I'm rethinking this probably might be easier if we change them to decimals. So 5 and 9 twelfths, I'm going to change that to 5 point, what, 7, 5? Now that we have our written word problem, we can go ahead and solve it. So I'm going to subtract 5.75 from both sides. These 75s and 5.75s crosses out, so I have x is less than or equal to, here we go, that becomes a 12, this will become a 5, 12 minus 7 is 5. So your friend can grow no more than fifth, uh, half of an inch, okay? So this one had two parts, the first part was writing, the second part was solving. So just make sure you understand why we do the way that we did. Okay, that's going to conclude our video for today. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we will see you next time.